Nano LED, Mini LED, Billy Jean. There's a veritable plethora of display types out there with names just like those, at least some of them. Unfortunately, there's a new one to keep track of called Micro OLED, not to be confused with Micro LED, and it's been stealing headlines recently because it's the technology featured in Apple's new Vision Pro VR headset. That's not what they would call it, but they're not here right now. The main difference between micro OLED and the traditional OLED that might be powering your TV is that as the name suggests, the micro OLED pixels are much smaller. Think iMac versus iPod. Shuffle. Apple is promising beyond 4K resolution for each eye in its new headset. And considering most full-sized OLED TVs are a lower resolution, you need some serious pixel density. Micro OLED pulls this off by using silicon wafers as a substrate, as opposed to the glass substrate found in your typical OLED TV. That's because silicon has special chemical properties that allow for smaller pixels, one of the most important being that electrons move more quickly and easily through it. In fact, Apple is saying that the space that one pixel takes up on the iPhone fits 64 pixels on a micro OLED display. Of course, OLED has long been notorious for being dimmer than other display technologies, despite its sometimes jaw-dropping levels of contrast. But the current word on the street in the display industry is that Apple is using Sony micro OLED displays that feature two white OLED layers. The light from these white OLEDs are passed through micro lenses to focus it and make it brighter but you didn't hear it from me. These innovations mean that micro OLED will probably show up in millions of individual devices over the next few years. But despite these advancements, there are some good reasons to think micro OLED won't be the next big thing in display tech you'll get to experience at home. And we'll tell you why right after we thank the sponsor of this video, Delete Me. Delete Me is a solution for the very modern problem of personal information being easily shared online without its owner's consent. A simple Google search will find hundreds of online profiles sharing your personal information, which can lead to annoying robocalls and scam emails. Delete Me's software and team of experts can remove this information in just minutes compared to the hours it would take to do it manually. On average, Delete Me removes over 2,000 pieces of data for a customer in their first two years. So if you want to get your personal info removed from search results on the web, go to Join deleteme.com slash techwiki and use code techwiki for 20% off. While micro OLED has big advantages when used for very small displays, when it comes to larger panels, it unfortunately has some glaring weaknesses. While you might expect that a display tech designed with VR headsets in mind would deliver the highest quality possible, micro OLED is actually less efficient than a typical OLED display you'd find in a smartphone. You see, micro OLEDs work using white light that gets sent through a color filter to form the images that you see, instead of the traditional OLED smartphone method of just having RGB LED that don't require a filter at all. Which means that regular OLEDs get brighter for the same energy consumption, so you don't need as much power to reach the same color gamut, as higher brightness means a larger number of colors can be produced. And while Samsung is working on a form of micro OLED that should be much more energy efficient because it uses red, blue, and green pixels that light up directly without needing a white backlight, that piece of tech needs a bit more time in the old slow cooker before it's ready for prime time. But what if we're not worried about power efficiency? because we want to make a micro OLED TV that plugs into the wall, for example. Well, micro OLED still doesn't make that much sense for larger displays. And a big reason is that current silicon wafers max out around 12 inches in diameter, meaning to make a display bigger than that, you'd have to attach multiple wafers together. And if you think assembling IKEA furniture is a bit laborious, just try doing this, okay? <laughs> But even if you could easily do this because you want to take advantage of micro OLED's greater pixel density and make TVs that offer higher resolutions, you'll soon run into the problem of diminishing returns in terms of how many pixels you need to make a TV appear lifelike. You only need to be sitting a little over four feet away from a 65 inch 4K TV powered by traditional OLEDs for your eyes to be unable to discern individual pixels. Meaning a micro OLED screen in such a large format wouldn't really offer many advantages. Now throw in the fact that micro OLED is going to be at a price premium for years to come due to its limited applications. And I would pretty much only expect to see it in devices like the aforementioned VR headset or other limited use cases such as camera viewfinders or heads up displays for the military. But if you are in the market for a headset, micro OLED should deliver an experience beyond current LCD tech. Just be prepared to pay the Apple tax that I'm sure all of you are used to by now.
Oh my gosh, it's over? Wow, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos and comment below with video suggestions. And oh, don't forget to subscribe and follow. <laughs>